Ladies and gentlemen, how about a large round of applause for this year's Henry Tamir Innovative Leadership Award winner, Dr. Jeffrey Lydon. Well, thank you, and thank you, Bob, and thank you, MassBio, uh, for this tremendous honor uh, and this award. Um, to me, this award is a, is a very special one, not only because of Bob, not only because of MassBio, but because of a number of factors that, that personally are, are very important to me. And the first one is it's named after Henry Tremier. So I think everybody here knows that Henry was an absolute pioneer in this industry, and he was particularly a pioneer with respect to the discovery and development of drugs for rare diseases or orphan diseases. And everyone like Vertex that is now working on those rare and orphan diseases and, and tackling those diseases um, owes Henry a huge debt of gratitude for the work that he, pioneering work he did in that area. We, we wouldn't be here without his work. The second reason it's, it's very special for me is I've been around this community a long time. I see many friends when I look out in this audience, and I always say the most special awards are those awards you get from your peers and your colleagues, because they know you the best. So to get this award and, and to join the company of people like John Mariganori, uh, Mark Levin, Deborah Dunsire, Dave Meeker, the, the folks who have won it over the past few years, that, that's a tremendous company to be a part of. I'm honored to even be considered in that group of folks and certainly by, by all of you today as, as colleagues and friends. And then the final thing Bob already mentioned, but it's to receive the award from Bob. First, because he's done so much for our industry to build this into the world's leading ecosystem in biotechnology, no doubt about it, over many years. But Bob and I share this, this sort of personal journey that we've been on now for, for seven years together. Um, I remember when, when I started at Vertex, Bob came to see me. We talked about CF. We talked a bit about his son. And at that time, we really didn't have any medicines that could address the particular mutations that his son had. But I promised him at the time that we weren't going to stop working until we found medicines that had the potential to treat his son, Bobby. And so to get this award this year when we've just announced the beginning of our pivotal trials of our triple combinations that we believe will be able to address the mutations that Bobby had, it's, it's very special to me, Bob. And I look forward to that day when, when he can go on those medicines. So for those of you that know me, you know that I always say that drug discovery and drug development is the ultimate team sport. It takes hundreds of people, sometimes thousands of people, working together for many years to discover and develop one drug. So while I'm up here receiving this award today, the award really goes to all the hundreds of people at Vertex who have worked on cystic fibrosis for more than 15 years and have been able to serially innovate multiple drugs for this disease. Some of them are here at this table and I call them out. But more importantly, I, I give a shout out to all of them. I wouldn't be here today to get this award without all of their hard work and particularly the work of my senior leadership team. So thanks to all of you guys. So one of the small um, benefits of receiving some of these awards is you get to reminisce a little bit. You get to sort of be the, the old guy, which is sometimes nice and sometimes not so nice. Um, so I, I hope you'll indulge me for f just a couple of minutes if I reminisce a little bit about this Boston uh, biomedical ecosystem. You know, I, I've had the pleasure of being a part of it since the early 1980s, almost 40 years, I realize today, uh, when I was a resident, actually, at the Brigham and a scientist at the Dana-Farber. I, I watched the first companies, you know, the, the biogens and the genzymes and the T-cell sciences get started here, and I've gotten to see it grow to what it is today. I mean, Bob, you remember this room used to have about 40 people in it, and now it has 400, and, and that's really saying something. But I've also gotten to watch what's happened to, to medical therapies during that time. The fact that this ecosystem has absolutely revolutionized the, the care and the outcomes of multiple serious diseases. And when I look around this room, I see many of you are too young, perhaps, to even remember that, and I think you may take it for granted. But I'd remind you that since the time I was a resident, New drugs and devices have decreased mortality for heart disease and stroke, the two leading killers in the U.S., by more than 75 percent in 30-some years. That is an incredible, incredible achievement. HIV-AIDS, I, I do remember admitting the first patient with HIV-AIDS to the Brigham in the early 1980s. We didn't know what the disease was. We certainly didn't know what caused it, and we certainly didn't know how you might treat it. 
And yet, 10, 15 years later, this industry turned HIV AIDS into a chronic disease that people live with for their whole lives, decreasing mortality by more than 80% in that short period of time. And you can tell that story over and over again. Cancer, a disease that people still obviously are very afraid of, that we're still working very hard on. Remember that there's been a 17 to 20 percent decrease in cancer mortality since the year 2000. One percent per year over that time. And that's only going to accelerate. So I do think it's important that we remember what we've done, but it's equally important to remember what we can do. Because you all know, and you, you aren't too young for this, you all know how science has exploded and technology has exploded over the last five to ten years. You all are going to put that science and technology together to create new cures, new drugs, new devices, and new technologies for diseases like cancer and diabetes and Alzheimer's disease. You know, when I look at the world now in Boston 30 years later, I see the convergence of digital technologies and healthcare to essentially revolutionize the diagnosis of disease. Every medical image, x-rays, EKGs, pathology slides, will be read by machines in conjunction with people better than they are today and soon, within the next three to five years. I look at the advances in cancer, particularly immuno-oncology, something we used to talk about, I remember 40 years ago in my, in my postdoc lab, maybe we could activate the immune system and kill cancer. Well, guess what? 30 years later, the industry has done that. And we're just at the very beginning of seeing how that revolutionizes the care of cancer. And then finally, technologies like gene editing and nucleic acid therapies that are going to allow us to address diseases, genetic diseases in particular, in a way that we just didn't even dream of five and ten years ago. And the great news is, I'll be on a beach sitting somewhere fly fishing while all of you are doing the work <laughs> to make that happen. And so I guess I would end by saying, I'm looking forward, Bob, to coming back five years from now, ten years from now, and seeing other people who are sitting in this audience win this award for those kinds of advances. So thank you very much for this tremendous pleasure and honor. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Come over on the side here. And as a gift, uh, for folks that have lots of plaques and trophies and all things like that, we like to give a meaningful gift for this award. So in order to honor you, what we've done is we partnered with uh, where's Ilian Markov in, in, in Art and Giving? Art and Giving is a charity that actually provides art, they sell art, and a, a portion of those proceeds goes to uh, pediatric brain cancer research. MassBio has partnered with Art and Giving, many of your companies have. We ask that if you're going to buy or rent art, why not do it through Art and Giving and help find a cure for these kids? with cancer. And Ilian, you're, you're a wonderful, wonderful woman. Thank you for that. We've made a donation on your behalf where you can pick out a piece of art and hang it up at Vertex along with all that wonderful stuff you have. So thank you so much, Jeff. Thank, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.